Good morning all the girls, how are you? Good morning all the boys, how are you? Good morning everyone, good morning girls and boys, good morning everyone, how are you? Hi, good morning everyone! Today we're going to review all about addition and subtraction. Let's begin! Addition means putting numbers together and we always use the plus sign. On the other hand, subtraction means we are taking a number away and we usually see the minus sign. When you are writing numbers, please remember that it is very important to know the place value of each digit. Does it belong to the ones place? Or does it belong to the tens place? Let's look at this example. 35 plus 12 is equal to blank. Where are we supposed to start first? Are we supposed to start with the ones place or the tens place? What do you think? Yes, we must always start with the ones place. Digits 5 and 2 are part of the ones place. Now, if you add them together, the answer is 7. Now, let's go to the tens place. 3 plus 1. It gives you 4. The final answer is 47. Let's look at the next example. 45 plus 24 is equal to blank. Where should we begin first? We should begin with the ones place. So that is 5 plus 4. The answer is 9. Let's proceed to the tens place. That is 4 plus 2. 4 plus 2 gives you 6. The final answer is 69. It's the same steps and rule when you are trying to solve for the difference in subtraction. But of course, you'll be using the minus sign instead of the plus sign. Now, let's try to look at the first example. We have 98 minus 35. What do you think should we do first? Yes, we need to solve for the ones place. And that is 8 minus 5. Now, remember, if it's minus, you have to take away. So what is 8 minus 5? The difference or the answer is 3. Now let's go to the tens place. And in the tens place, we have the digits 9 and 3. So what is 9 minus 3? It gives you... What do you think? Yes, it gives you the number 6. So the final answer is 63. Now let's look at the next example. We have 75 minus 32. Again, we solve for the ones place first. And that is 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 is equal to... What's your answer? 3. Now let's go to the tens place. In the tens place, we have 7 minus 3. 7 minus 3 is equal to... What's your answer? Yes, it is 4. The final answer is 43. Let's focus on this. Usually, you see problems written this way. 38 minus 25 equals blank. But did you also notice that sometimes a problem is written in another way? Just like this, 38 minus 25 equals blank. What's the difference? The first one, we call this the vertical number sentence. Now, when we say vertical, we usually write the numbers from top to bottom. Now, the other way, we call this the horizontal number sentence. What do we mean by that? When we say horizontal, we usually write the numbers from left to right. Now, the next question is, how are we going to solve it? Let me tell you more. 
38 minus 25 using the vertical number sentence. So again, we always begin with the ones place, and that is 8 minus 5. It gives you 3. Now let's proceed to the tens place, and that is 3 minus 2. It gives you, what's the answer? 1. Now let's try using the horizontal number sentence. 38 minus 25 is equal to blank. So that's from left to right. Now the digits on the right side, which is 8 and 5, they belong to the ones place. So what is 8 minus 5? It's 3. Now the digits on the left side, and that is 3 and 2, they belong to the tens place. So what is 3 minus 2? It gives you... What's the answer? 1. So if you notice, the answer on the vertical number sentence is same as the answer in the horizontal number sentence. The final answer is 13. Let's look at these examples. Let's try to solve it. Again, they are written in the horizontal number sentence, so we have to solve it using the vertical number sentence. Let's begin. 16 plus 22 is equal to blank. Again, we always begin with the ones place, and that is 6 plus 2. What do you think is the answer? 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Let's proceed to the tens place. That is 1 plus 2. The answer is 3. The final answer is 38. Now, let's try to solve the next problem, and that is 53 plus 23. Vertically, we write it this way. 53 plus 23 is equal to blank. Again, one's place, 3 plus 3 gives you 6. Next, tens place, 5 plus 2 gives you 7. The final answer is 76. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!